I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the May 2021 USSAT calculator section. College Board is asking about the mean and median for a frequency table, and there are 28 books in this table, so the median will be between the 14th and 15th book. Counting up, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, plus 5 is 12, plus 5 is 17. The 14th and 15th books both have 50 pages. The median is 50. Let's count the other direction to make sure I didn't mess up. 5 and 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 5 is 16. The 14th and 15th book from the top are also 50, so I counted that correctly. The median is currently 50. And if I add in another book, the median will be the 15th from the top and the 15th from the bottom. And the new book is longer than anything else. So 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 5 is 10, and 2 is 12. The 15th, 16th, and 17th from the top are all 50. And the same with the 15th from the bottom. So the median does not change. Choice A says both mean and median increase, which is not true. Choice B says both decrease, which is not true. Median remains the same as choices C and D. The question is, what happens to the mean if you add a high outlier? If you add a value greater than any of the other observations, the mean will always go up. You don't have to do the numbers on that. So choice C, the mean will increase. It certainly will not decrease. The correct answer is C. Alternatively, it's slower, but you can figure the mean by adding up all the numbers and dividing by 28 and doing the same thing, dividing by 29. Or on my graphing calculator, stat edit, I can input the frequency table, which will take a minute, 46, 47, 48, etc. And then the frequency is 1, 2, 4, 5, 5, 2, 5, 4. And if I calculate one variable statistics on, I get a mean of 50.03. And if I go back into stat edit and add one more observation, the new book was 62 pages. And there's one of those. One variable statistics says the mean is now 50.4. And the median is still 50. So we can compute the answers exactly. That is rarely necessary when College Board asks about mean and median because we can find the median by counting from the top and the bottom. And you know if you add a high outlier, that raises the mean. If you add a low outlier, any new observation below the mean will lower the mean. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.